We're destined for greatness. Nobody ever thought we would make it. Watch how far we take it. Past the stars and spaceships from a city where the music is sacred. You in the presence of a rebel now. Yeah, we about to take it to... Welcome back, Thurgood Marshall Middle School, to our third week of this quarter. Uh, it's going to be another wonderful week in terms of weather. Have slight chance of rain uh, today and tomorrow, but temperatures are definitely starting to cool down. I'm in the low 80s, 60s at night, uh, comfortable sleeping weather. So we're excited about that. And students, as you know, conditions are always perfect to unlock your potential. And that's because the mission at Thurgood Marshall is to unlock your potential by working together to create an atmosphere of academic excellence in a culture of support, belonging, and growth. Students, just like we do every morning before we get moving with this broadcast, let's take a moment, let's take some deep breaths and set our attention for this week as we observe our moment of silence. Thank you, students. Let's stand and join us as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And you may be seated. So let's talk about our announcements for this week. Uh, let's first talk about, uh, we have some testing coming up this week. Uh, this Monday and Tuesday in your ELA classes, you will be taking the fast track reading test. So it's really important students that you have your headphones or earbuds, you're gonna need it uh, for the test because some of it is going to require the listening. Uh, it should be about one period long. You should be able to knock it out. Uh, if not, you can uh, finish it the next day, but it shouldn't take too long. Uh, there'll be two parts to it. First part is time, the second part is 30 questions. And that fast track reading is going to take place of map. So make sure you do your best uh, and that will set your, um, you know, that's gonna set your baseline for the year. Uh, and that'll help us track your growth throughout the year. Also on, that's gonna be Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday in your math classes, you'll be taking the Fast Track Math Assessment. Very similar to the reading assessment, it is online. Uh, first part is timed, and then the second part, uh, 30 questions. And uh, again, you wanna bring those headphones or earbuds, uh, you'll be using them. Uh, and then throughout the week during PLT, we may be coming to finish up anyone who has not taken the CBM reading assessment, and that's for our fifth and sixth graders. After that, we should be good. Um, so hopefully, I know it's been a lot of different testing and diagnostics, but we're trying to get it out of the way. So thank you for your patience with that. Uh, also, uh, just a reminder for our sixth and eighth grade uh, students, you will be getting your uh, binders, your AVID binders today in your PLT class. And so fifth grade already has them, they're set, they're already starting to use them, um, but you're going to get your binders, the dividers, your Marshall agenda, and you're gonna get it all put together today with your PLT teacher. And so that's gonna help you get organized so you are set and ready for success each and every day. And talking about AVID, um, some of you may be wondering, what is AVID? That's a great question. And we're gonna highlight AVID throughout the coming weeks because we want you to understand what we're doing, why we're using the binders, why we're learning how to use Cornell notes or two or three column notes. Uh, so we're just gonna have a real quick video. Take a look at it. Uh, and again, we'll continue this discussion about what is AVID. Take a look at this video.
I love this video because it emphasizes the reason why we are bringing AVID here to Marshall. The reason for bringing AVID to Marshall is because we want all, and I emphasize all of our students to be successful. It's ingrained in our mission, it's ingrained in our vision, and AVID is about preparing students to be college and career ready. Students, we know all of you have big dreams, and we know to fulfill those dreams, we, you need to be academically, socially, and emotionally ready. And so that is what AVID's about. We're gonna see in our classes, you should see that you'll be doing AVID collaboration strategies in your classes where you'll be working together. You'll do in different writing strategies in your classes uh, to improve your writing, help you be more successful there. And you also, um, we're gonna emphasize organization, okay? So I've, that old adage says, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So part of the organization is getting you uh, helping you build really good plans, organizational structures, so you can be successful in all of your classes. The end goal isn't just about Thurgood Marshall, the end goal is about helping you be college and career ready. And so we're gonna talk more about AVID in the coming weeks, but we wanted you just to kind of have some background in it. And it's something that we are doing together. Teachers, administrators, students, your parents, we are working together to help you be prepared for your future so you can be successful. West Side! Fair East Side! Fair East Side! Maybe don't nobody want to hear, but it's like this the South got something to say. That's all I got to say. Give it up for the one, the only, North Side! Hey everybody, we're so excited this year to be doing the house system that's going to be a chance for us to collaborate and get to know each other and build community across all grade levels. So whether you're in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh, eighth, or your teacher in related arts, we're all separated into different groups. So you're going to have a chance to get to know people in each hallway, across the building, and a chance to build community. I'm Mr. Porter. I'm going to be in the South Side group. So if you see me in the hallway, you end up being in the South Side group. Make sure you say hey, and I'm going to be looking for many of you. Um, and we're excited to be doing the South Side. Um, We'll be deciding all of our mascots and colors and stuff in the next few weeks, but we'll be excited to be in the different houses. What's going on, Marshall? This is Mr. Brown, and, this is Amy. and we're here to tell you about the best house, East House. So when you find out next week which house you're in, hopefully you're in House East, and we're ready to turn it up. Let them know, Remy. No, Cal, we on here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. What's up, everybody? Y'all know me, it's Mr. Smith. Check it out, I'm representing Northside. When we do the houses that you're gonna find out about later on this week, you're gonna see what these houses are about. But for me, I'm representing the Northside. So get hyped, get excited, cause we gonna put it down. Northside is the best side. What? All right, West Side, y'all with Coach Gardner. You know that the West Side is the best side. Let's go! family it's coach Henry here I just want to know do you need extra training uh, athletic training to be more specific make sure you come and join cross-country track okay make sure you turn in your physical form this week Wednesday and um, make sure you have all your stuff ready because we will start training very soon those dates will be announced over the intercom later on this week but if you need training for any type of sport before the spring, you should join cross country because we're gonna work you out. Coach Martin and myself are coaching cross country this year. So again, if you need extra training, if you wanna get in shape, make sure you come and join cross country, okay? And uh, most of our practices will be from 4.30 to 5.30, okay? Not sure of the dates yet, but we will let you know very soon again. Go get your physical forms, turn them in by Wednesday of this week, and we will talk to you soon. We'll give you more information. Adios. Hi, Marshall family. So I am here to tell you about our volleyball program this year. On Monday, we are going to have another tryout. Unfortunately, we've only had five girls try out. So we are looking for anyone who has, even if you have never played volleyball before, we would love for you to guys to come out, try out, I'll teach you the strategies and we'll see, you know, even if you have a little bit of athletic ability, then we can talk about you being on the team. Make sure you have a physical, make sure you have a ride that comes to get you. So the last tryout is today, Monday, 
from 4.15 to 5.30. Make sure your ride is there to pick you up at 5.30. So if you need to call home, let them know that you'll be staying after school for practice because you have your physical, then go ahead and ask your teacher to do that now. Hey everyone, um, this is Coach Thompson for the soccer team and we are looking for girls this fall because the girls season is in the fall and we need uh, several more to be able to complete a team of having at least 11 students and that will give us the minimum amount to be able to play for the full team. We would love to have more, we can have up to 20 students so we would love to have you be a part. Please fill out the paperwork, bring it in to me and you will be able to be a part of the team. Uh, there will be a meeting for parents of any person who is on the team on August the 25th with parents uh, so we can discuss uh, the year and parents will understand their responsibilities and how the games will be going and the rest of practices and also to take care of fees. Looking forward to seeing all of you out at our Mariners soccer games this fall. All right, now we're ready for our quote of the week. Our quote of the week is actually um, a Kenyan proverb. Um, so this comes from Africa, and I like it. It says, sticks in a bundle are unbreakable. Sticks in a bundle are unbreakable. Love that quote. Uh, it emphasizes that there's strength when we are together. And so as we go through this year, let's stay united. As we're working through AVID, let's work together, and let's be unbreakable this year. Let's, we did great this past year uh, on TN Ready and MAP. But I know that we could even be stronger. We could even do more this year. So students, let's continue to level up and let's be strong together. And students, as I always say, no matter how you feel, please know that all of us believe in your potential for greatness because together we are Marshall and we are destined for greatness. Let's have a great week of instruction here at Marshall. Oh.